Elena. Hi there, lovely. So we're finally making this video. So I wanted to make a video to explain. You know, we talk a lot about traits of the, each breed and the traits of the Russian blue and the traits of Burmese and they made videos about what are some of the typical traits but today I wanted to make a video about how my two cats actually differ from what you would expect in a typical breed behavior which is down to the fact that each cat has their own personality you know I'd, although the breed is kind of you know there are some traits that go with the breed each cat has a unique personality like humans have a unique personality so there's a funny thing that I noticed with us traveling and being away for the holidays that um, are very different from what it is in the standard breed so um, if you talk about the typical uh, Russian blue the Russian blue is really bonded and attached to, to attached to one or two people and they got a lot of comments about that that you know they only care about you and they don't care about anyone else whereas the Burmese is really like a more social cat that really thrives in attention and attention from you know attention is attention well it's actually exactly the opposite with my cats uh, so this lady here who is supposed to be very loyal she loves strangers she will go on you know whenever someone comes through the door she will be all over them she will be rubbing against their legs if they sit on the sofa she will be going on their laps she is such a social cat um, so I had <coughs> we were away for I think 15 days which is quite long so I've had a cat sitter at the start and then I had, because my good friend normally takes care of my cats, he was traveling. So the cat sitter, I, I have this cat sitter that I call, it's the same cat sitter that came last time. So I had the cat sitter at the start and then I had my friend in the, in the second half. And the cat sitter was sending me photos of Lena on her neck, on her lap, belly up. Lena was all over the cat sitter. And the same thing with my friend. My friend was also, he was like, Lena won't let me go home. She just sits on my lap and she pours, 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 and I can't go home. Look at the mess. We have a big mess now because we were traveling. Baby got sick and, oh, look, she's showing me the way to the food. It's a lot of dishes. Yeah, it's a big mess now. We just came back. Thank you for showing everyone the mess lady let's go <laughs> let's go back somewhere less messy for supper all right so so anyways this lady here she was all over all over the cat sitter all over my friend and she pours and they're like oh my god she's so friendly <laughs> and if you you know when i read comments from other Russian blue owners, they always like, oh, Russian blue will only love you, they don't care about strangers. Well, apparently Lena, Lena here is a, an, it's an exception. It's her thing that she loves, loves, loves uh, strangers. And she's so happy to be pouring and getting lap time and getting attention from strangers. I think it's because, you know, the story that we have cats, so Lena, I said that about the Russian blue, they're very food motivated and every time a cat sitter comes, since the very first time I had a cat sitter, they always come with treats. Ah, Elena, you had to go there again, huh? So <laughs> I think it's related to the treats, you know, she associates with the strangers coming in and giving her treats and that's why she's really like, she's really fond of strangers right now. I mean. They're not strangers to her. Cat sitter had been here previously, and so had my friend multiple times. Um, and it's a friend that 
uh, we moved uh, to the US for work kind of at the same time, so he knew them back in Europe as well. Oh, there you go. I, we always put water in there for her, so she's just drinking water. Anyway, so that's on the Russian blue. Um, love the cat sitter and loves my friend. Now, to this lady here who is supposed to be thriving in attention and is supposed to love strangers and be cuddly to everyone, well, this lady here, the cat sitter, didn't even try to approach her. She was just like hiding in a corner. She sent me a few photos and she said, Matilda is just observing. So she like, she has her cat tree and she was just sitting there in the cat tree and I have photos of her looking like, who the hell are you? Don't come near me. So I was a bit disappointed, you know, that the cat sitter didn't interact with her and, and then I texted my friend and I said, when you go to my house, can you please, you're gone. Can you please make sure that you're gonna give some extra attention to Matilda because she, you know, she, she didn't get much attention. She was my baby still. It's cookie. Um, she hasn't had much attention from baby singing here. Let's go with Helena. Uh oh. There she is. <laughs> In the garbage. Right. So I said, can you spend some extra time with Matilda? Can you maybe try to pick her up? Well, big mistake because he went straight for her and tried to pick her up. And she beat him and scratched him. She drew, actually, she drew blood from him. She, and she hissed and she was very scared and she hated it. So Matilda here, who's supposed to be very friendly and cuddly, really does not like anyone that is not near my husband. Which is super funny because I keep telling everyone, Lena is reserved and Lena is more like minding her own business. Whereas Matilda is just like a big cuddle bug. And she wants to be on top of you all the time and she's so friendly, which is true. <laughs> Babies here to provide some background music. It's true, but it's only true with us. When it comes to strangers, they are completely different and they are very. The behavior is very different from what you would expect from the breed. Right, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> they want to go out. <laughs> Miss Polly had a dolly who was sexy. Okay. <laughs> you wanna be in the movie? She's singing the wheel of the the wheels of the bus. The wheels of the bus go round and round. <laughs> yeah. So those cats here. You know, we we don't travel that long that often. It's just once a year, maybe twice, when we go home and we meet family. So she tried to jump up there. <laughs> oh, Matilda, there's no space for you to jump in there. And you know, it's traveling is always it's hard for everyone. The cats are stressed because they don't like being alone for so long. The baby is sick, so we've had now, she, she got sick on the plane on the way back, so we've mama. had her, mama, yeah, mama is making a cat video. So we've had her inside now for two days, trying to help her recover a bit. So you saw there's a big mess, there's toys everywhere. She takes her food and <laughs> she was making waffles out of pasta. But it's, um, she Traveling is stressful for anyone. We're trying to limit it as much as possible. And the cats are so thrilled that we are back home now. Great ladies. Matilda especially has been so cuddly. She's been like crazy cuddly. She she just comes to you when she purrs, purrs, purrs. It's just like a, a pouring machine. Right, sweetie? Yeah, you're gonna burn. 
Ben ben. Lena, oh baby. Baby and Lena are being naughty. Opening the door. <gasps> you don't want Lena in? No. <laughs> oh no. No. She's learned how to open and close doors now. Okay. Very good, very good. Okay. You let Lena out. Very good. Say bye bye, Lena. Bye bye. Yeah, no one's going out. The three of you, none of you. Baby's trying to open the door. Mm -mm. No one's going out. Bye bye now.